oil retreated back to levels seen prior to the geopolitical standoff between the U.S. and Iran after Washington indicated de-escalation on Wednesday. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world, President Donald Trump said on Wednesday. Brent was up 0.3% and trading at $65.65 per barrel at 4.44 p.m. UAE time, while West Texas Intermediate was up 0.7% at $60.01 per barrel. Brent dropped nearly 4% following Mr. Trump's speech on Wednesday as markets priced out geopolitical risks. Oil prices sold off more than 4% as concerns about supply risks in the Middle East calm, said Norbert Rucker, head of economics and next-generation research at Julius Baer. The latest actions and reactions show that both opponents, the United States and Iran, are shying away from a military escalation out of fear of its potential economic costs, he added. The bank maintains a neutral view on oil and expects prices to trend lower towards the end of the year. Demand is expected to remain soft cushioned by weak growth and rising supply from Canada and fields in the North Sea. Oil surged beyond $70 per barrel during early trading on Monday as the U.S. and Iran threatened military escalation following the assassination of Tehran's top military commander in an attack in Baghdad. Brent, the benchmark for more than half of the world's oil, climbed to an eight-month high, surpassing levels seen after the September 14 attack on Saudi Aramco's oil facilities, which temporarily took out 5% of global oil supply. The assassination of Qasem Soleimani, the head of the elite Quds force within the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, prompted talk of tough revenge from Iran, which retaliated by hitting U.S. bases in Iraq on Wednesday. Markets feared a U.S. retaliation, as Washington had earlier indicated it would target 52 sites in Iran, including some of cultural importance. However, by Tuesday Mr. Trump had retracted his words on attacking cultural sites, saying he would abide by the law. In his address to the nation, Mr. Trump said he hoped Iran and the U.S. would work together on tackling ISIS as well as other shared priorities. He also said fresh sanctions would be imposed against Tehran following the latest escalation. A full-blown conflict in the Middle East that impacts supply through the Strait of Hormuz, through which a third of seaborne global oil supplies transit, would affect every country in the world, UAE Energy Minister Sahail al mazroui said on Wednesday. The world economy cannot sustain $100 oil prices, he added. Please subscribe our YouTube channel Listen News here. If you like the video please like, comment and share the video.